Uh, I've known Mel since she was a little kid, so I've known her pretty much all, all my life. I saw her as a peewee and as a bantam, and she played with the boys. And I thought, wow, <laughs> uh, this, this girl's gonna go somewhere. She was just as good as the boys. Uh, she always played rep hockey. So Sault Ste. Marie was like uh, the double A AA or triple A right since she was a novice Adam. So she definitely had the skills, uh, the natural ability as a youngster. Prior to coming to York, uh, I saw her at a hockey tournament back home to Sault Marie. And uh, at that point, uh, I knew who she was and she knew who I was. She knew that I played hockey uh, in Southern Ontario. And when I saw her play uh, several games at this tournament, I kind of pulled her aside and I said, you gotta come down to Southern Ontario and play some hockey. And she kind of hummed and hawed and I said, what are you gonna do here to St. Marie? You know, I said, you go down there, the hockey is good. I know that when she first came to her first practice, I knew that she had uh, no doubts in her mind that she's gonna make it this team. I had no doubts in my mind that she was gonna be a leader. Her greatest ability is her strength. Um, she's built like transport and um, her, so her size. But despite her size, uh, she could move the puck. She saw the ice very well, and she wasn't afraid to move with the puck. Um, her shot uh, was probably one of the hardest shots that I've ever seen a girl take. And uh, a lot of men, she could out shoot a lot of men. So she had a lot going for her. She had a lot of natural ability in all aspects of hockey. So with that, with that whole package, I knew she was gonna do great things. As first things people, we tend to be very quiet until we size things out. And um, we, all, we always had our little corner and uh, we sat beside each other in our little corner and we always had little jokes that referred to our people. As Native people, we have like a kind of a really different sense of humor. And uh, we, we don't make fun of people um, because we're mean. We, make f we kind of uh, joke with people because we like them. And um, Tim came in and sometimes he had some difficulty motivating our team. And um, so Tim came in, we're down a couple goals going into the third period. We're on our home ice, our home barn. And Tim came in, he says, girls, I, I know we're gonna win this game. We're gonna come on score a couple goals. I know we're gonna win this because I could feel it. And I could feel because they played my song at intermission. So I know it, we're, we're gonna do it. So Melanie whispers to me, she says, Caribbean queen, like this. And I thought it was the funniest thing. And so now that we're home, like 15, 16 years later, whenever Caribbean Queen comes on, I remember that incident, and we text each other, go to 93.9, Tim's song is on. So we always had like little jokes like that, and which really made us um, comfortable in a, in a dress room full of, you know, hockey players that kind of weren't like us. Loved hockey, but a little bit, you know, different lifestyle and whatnot. So while she was at York, uh, she was an OUA All-Star in all five years. She was a two-time CIS All-Canadian. In her rookie year, she was Rookie of the Year in 1998. In 2002, she was York, York's Female Athlete of the Year. And to this day, she remains York's all-time leading scorer with 108 points in 98 games. Since leaving York University, uh, Melanie has returned back home, which we love tremendously. Uh, she now works as a police officer uh, for the past five years. And uh, she's really bringing uh, her skills, her knowledge, her experience that she's learned at York uh, to her family, to friends, and she still plays. Thank you, Melanie, for asking me to speak on your behalf. I'm thrilled and very honored. Melanie, congratulations. You've accomplished so much while here at York University. And I'm so glad that you moved back home. You truly are an ambassador for Native women hockey players, Native girls, and congratulations, Melanie.